Now then YouTube, I'm the Top Man and welcome back to more FM 2016. The Ultimate English Challenge continues and we're in round three today of the uh, Intermediate Cup, the Sussex Intermediate Cup, which I'm actually looking forward to. Now, the finances are, of course, looking great and I think this is going to get much better over the season uh, because last season we paid quite a lot into the loan. So I think this season we're going to get quite a bit of money back from uh, from this. But, what I'm going to say guys, um, I'm finding this extremely difficult now, okay? And I've tried different methods, I've tried different ways of doing it, but I'm finding it extremely difficult. Let's take a look. So, the Eccleshman Casuals is the one that we were last in. Now, I won 3-1 against Jarvis Brook in the league, which I thought, oh, that's brilliant. John Gamble with two goals, Josh Goff with uh, another goal there as well. And I thought, this is finally turning a corner, you know. Uh, Jarvis Brook, they were uh, second or third in the league at the stage. And I thought, yes, we're finally turning a corner. Then I played Burgess Hill Albion. I've never been so outplayed in my entire life. It was using the exact same formation, the exact same tactic as I did against Jarvis Brook. But 21 shots, 9 on target. I only got one shot on target. This is kind of... Um, it, it doesn't represent what actually happened in the game. Because four shots, one on target... That wasn't until like the last 10 minutes of the game when I put it on attacking. Um, other than that, I really didn't do anything in that game at all. Now, I had a 1-0 victory against Crawley Athletic. Again, felt confident with what I actually saw. Definitely felt confident. Nine shots, three on target. 53% uh, possession. Now... We need more shots on target, which is evident when I show you Furnace Green Rovers. These guys are further down the league, but look at this. Nine shots. Only one single fucking shot was on target. Why? <laughs> I mean, literally, why? I've set this team up to do exactly what I want it to do. Um, now, Furnace Green Rovers, of course, they had one fucking shot on target, but of course, as always... That went in the back of the fucking net. So now we're in the in Sussex Intermediate Cup third round against Hurst, Mons uh, Hurst Monso. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hurst Monso. Um, this is the squad. As you can see, Josh Goff does play. I've got him as a target man once again. And I've got these guys whipping it in uh, towards him. But it's, it's the team has kind of flipped on its side um, over the past season. I've got a good, I've got a good goalkeeper. I've got a decent-ish defence up until about Phil Watt. Um, I am looking for another, for not a fullback. I'm looking for a wing back rather than a fullback. Uh, but we've got him there. Um, the other thing is that all my attackers are nowhere near as good as what they were. Now Dean Middleton was a player who actually left my club since last time that we uh, had an episode. I'm going to put Dean Milton in, actually, because I really want to use him as... Well, he's just going to have to be used as an advanced playmaker. Um, I'm going to have to use him there, but other than that, everybody... I, I used to have a really good defensive midfielding pairing, and I used to have really good attacking midfielders and a striker, but unfortunately... Not the case anymore. Josh Goff is the one who scored the most goals for me this season so far, so it must be working to some degree. However, Martin Barnett, when he comes off the bench, just doesn't seem to do anything. And uh, Christian Brown, unfortunately, just really doesn't seem to be up for it anymore. I mean, look at this. His finishing looks quality. His acceleration and his pace have both gone down. This is a decent player. For 22 years of age, this is a decent player who should be doing more, but isn't. And I don't know why. Um, that's the problem. In my old uh, in my old play, he did absolutely fine. This exact same formation did absolutely fine, banging the goals in left, right and centre. But unfortunately, this time, he just doesn't seem to be doing anything whatsoever. Anyway, we've got a game, guys, against uh, Hurst Monceau, so let's go straight into it. And here we go, kicking off the game against Hurst Monso. So we're looking for a win today. We want to go through to the fourth round, I believe it is next. Not the quarterfinals just yet. I think it's the fourth round, the fifth round, then the quarterfinals. Or it could be the fourth round, then the quarterfinals. But Hurst Monso are in the East Sussex Premier Division. They're one league above us, but in the opposite side of the league to this one. So Bennett's whacked this up front and has knocked it on from Goff. And not quite sure why Goff is, you know, that far up there. But here's Gamble. He's put the ball into the middle, but it's cut out. That's disappointing. I think what we're finding is that the the, the passes, um, we've not got enough people in the middle of the field up here, which is strange because I've got so many. Oh, Goff's through here. Goff! 
Oh, get in! Josh Goff has scored his sixth goal of the season from absolutely nothing. It was just a, a, a half chance, a ball all the way through the middle from Hewton. What a ball that was. And Goff managed to get in front of his man there, popped it over the goalkeeper, in off the post, and only just in off the post as well. But we are doing like a um, a, a counter-attacking style. We've only we've got very little possession, it has to be said. Oh, here we go. Morgan. Hannon. Morgan again whips it across the box. That back post cross is a pain in the backside because every time I get caught with it, every time I get caught with it on that right hand side, whips it straight the way across. And it happens all the time. We'll just watch this guy here. How is that guy not tracking him? How? But I get I get caught by that back post cross all the time. Oh, here we go. Gamble with the corner, whips it across. Morgan's actually uh, chested that down from straight from across, as you do. Uh, Brotherton, my goodness gracious me, that was one hell of a ball forwards. Look at this! Oh! A Josh Goff second goal of the game. How? Gamble managed to keep that in, I have no idea, but put it straight into the path of Goff, who smashes it in. That's absolutely fantastic. Look at that ball from Brotherton. That was fucking crazy. Did it go out? There'll be calls. There will be calls for it. Goalkeeper want, uh, found wanting. There was two defenders in front of the goalkeeper as well. But four shots, two on target. And it is our second goal. So here is Dave. Uh, it's uh, Hewton. Middleton. Went out of the club and then I signed him back. <laughs> it's just crazy. Middleton's ball forward. Ogun Bay. Go on, get it into our Josh Goff's head. Oh, that's the back post cross. And I have managed to abuse the hell out of that this time. Ogun Bay straight, uh, straight the way across uh, to uh, Gamble. And now it is 3 1. All three of my shots have been on target. And, uh, well, no, all three of my shots on target have ended up as being goals. But two of them have been clear cut chances, so I would expect that to be. One of them was ha a half chance as well. But we're going to go up into half time, guys. And we're currently 3 1 in the lead. Half time has come. Let's take Castle. There we go. Looking extremely delighted. I don't need to do anything else. Peter Castle doing the job there. But in the second half, again, I'm just going to keep it counter-attacking. We've not got enough of the ball to do it any other way. But here's Gamble. Into the middle. Middleton. Ball forwards towards Gamble as well on the outside now. Whips it across into the middle, but unfortunately it's cleared. And I think that's going to be the end of that key highlight. But uh, I don't believe... Look at eight, uh, look at Hurst Monso. Eight shots, one on target. I know the feels, Hurst Monso. I know those feels. It's Cumber in the middle. Hannant. In fact, let me take a quick look at the match stats. No, not the match stats. The um, yeah, the teams. Here we go. Passes, and I only want the key passes because I want. My goodness, hang on. Let me get rid of Hurst Monso here. So you can see, actually, we've got success pretty much all the way around the board here. So I don't really need to change anything of what I already am. Shots. Getting into the box, though, that's pretty good. I will take that. I will take that. What about Hurst Monso? So you can see Hurst Monso here. We're getting all outside the box. Uh, the only one key one was this one, all the way across there. And I think that was the, the back post cross. So just carry on. We should be fine with this one. We should be okay. Hitham. Now, if they score here, we're going to be in serious bother. And it wouldn't surprise me, you know, I've had uh, all three of my shots on target go in. So it wouldn't surprise me if both of their shots on target go in. Hatham's ball across here. Skinner's up, and it's in. Two shots on target, two goals for them as well. So not only are we abusing the fact that, uh, mind you, we they only had one clear-cut chance. We've, In fairness, we've had two clear-cut, one half chance. We should be three goals up. Um, well, I say should. We should at least be two goals up, but they've only had one clear-cut chance. The other one, not so much a clear-cut chance. We just want to be able to keep this. We really need to keep this, and I don't want to move from counter-attack. I don't want to change what I'm doing here. Uh, Lee Hewton's going to have to stay on. Josh Goff has had a wonderful, wonderful game, though he is kind of looking down on his uh, condition at the moment, and two goals is as much as he can get. That's the question, isn't it? Dean Middleton doesn't look to be doing much, so I'm going to bring Luke Bettany on. I'm going to leave it like that until about 70-odd minute and see what happens. 
But fingers crossed we don't go into another extra time in this in this uh, competition, really. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. We're in the 85th minute now. I don't believe they're going to get anything from this. Please let it be 3-2. There might be one... Oh, fucking... Why are you giving that away there? Hannon, really, honestly, I am mega struggling, guys, in this season. Really, really struggling. Hannon, with the ball. We're into the last minute of normal time, please, oh, and it's gone straight out, nice, good stuff, I think that's going to be it now, throw in, full time, come on, blow that whistle, so I can be, in. there it is, don't even need to do the throw in, Hurst Monso 2, Kima and Hasek's 3, Peter Castle, you can take that for sure, and 8.8 uh, .8 for Josh Go. that's absolutely fantastic, I am loving it, let's go and see who we've got in the next round, I think it's the fourth round, Goff on form, indeed. Indeed. So the Sussex Intermediate Cup fourth round draw. We've actually managed to make it to the fourth round of the Intermediate Cup. I am so excited, guys. So excited that hopefully we'll be able to win a cup. We haven't won a cup in such a long time either. So this is... This is the time. This is Kima and Hasek's time to win the Sussex Intermediate Cup, guys. We can do this. Although... You would think that the standard, of, uh, the standard of opposition is certainly going to get worse. Uh, well, not worse, but harder, should I say. Uh, let's go and have a look, Dicker. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go and see who we've got in the next round of the Sussex Intermediate Cup. I don't want a job anywhere else. I'm fine where I am, thank you. So what have we got? Um, we've got a few, but we're going to go and draw all teams for this one. Kima and Hasex, we've finally got one at home to Southwick Rangers in BH1E. What the hell is that? In the Brighton, Hove and Worthing League Division 1 East, which apparently is level 13 of football. Now, we, personally, where are we? Are we in level 14? Yeah, we're only one league down from where that is. So I think it's doable. The East Sussex um, uh, Premier Division is exactly the same as the Brighton and Hove one. So I think that's actually doable, guys. Who are we playing again? <laughs> so we're going to be back for the Sussex Intermediate Cup fourth round against Southwick Rangers. We've only got a couple of games, actually. But uh, fingers crossed we can turn it around in the league at the moment because we're really, really struggling. And I mean really struggling, guys. I've never been this bad in a league um, up to this point. But the thing is, I'm not managing to find decent players to replace my fucking players with. So... I'm stuck with the squad that I've got at the moment, and that is the issue. And I can't keep hold of my, my most prized possessions, like Dean Middleton, for example. He got bought, but luckily for me, I was able to get him back. Um, that's the issue. That's what I'm having at the moment. But that's going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and leave a like, and I will see you next time. Until then, I've been the Top Man. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.